Hey guys, Jack here from Easy Fix Plumbing. In this short video, I'm going to show you a step by step guide on just how to replace a standard tap washer or jumper valve, whatever you want to call them. But just how to simply replace it and remove the uh, old one and install the new one. Uh, let's get into it. <coughs> hey, right, guys. I'm just going to show you how to reseat this. Now, I'm a plumber, so I might do things different to everyone else, how they do kind of stuff, but this is the way I do the uh, leaky taps and service the spindles. Right, first is off, turn the water off. Make sure you turn the water off. Undo your nut. I'm not sure it's fine, so just undo the nut like this and try and break it down so it's pretty easy for you. Take your handle, everything off. Sometimes you can't get onto this nut here. If so, just use a footprint or something like that just so you can grab onto the body there. And undo that first. As well. Right off. Grab your trusty pliers, rip out the old washer. Now yeah, I change all this kind of stuff out. So take your body off, unscrew it here. I hope you can see. Unscrew this like that, and you'll expose the O rings. Do all that. It's going to waste the time and uh, money because the O-rings are, are worn. That's where um, you'll get water, especially on basins, right? you'll get water coming out the end here and stuff like that. So we've got it all apart. Replace them. So just um, get them off the best way you can. Um, I just use pliers. Get them off. Give it a quick clean. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> like it's my house. Just give it a quick clean. Get all the water and everything off them. Roll your um, o rings on just like that. It's pretty common and easy. Grab your body. Already taken the fibre off, right? And just stick another fibre on it. You can buy these kits from wherever you want to buy them from. Simple as that. Yeah. I use hydrocell. You can use any lube. You can use Vaseline if you want. Whatever. Just once you've got your O-rings and that on, and you've got it all nice and dry, just give it a good dosage of uh, some hydrocell. And what you do then, is you always put a dob, just a little dob like that on the end. And what that does, is, when you put your washers in, now look, valves, washers, jumper valves, whatever. Where we live, we live in a very harsh climate here, and the water's pretty, pretty hard, with high calcium over here in Western Australia. I just use these, they're cheap, because basically the water just ruins the seats before these are. So, and that, so you got the dog, just make sure you put it on like that. What that does, it stops, especially when you're doing basins, your valve or your stop your tap washer from falling out when you put it back down into the uh, into the body. So anyhow, so once you've got it all lubed up, just screw it all in. Screw it all the way up, so it's like basically you're screwing it, turn the tap on flat out. That's how it sits. Now <coughs> What we're going to do here is reseat this this uh, seat here. Now there's quite a few, a few different seats around. I've got uh, this one. This is a drill one, so it's pretty. You know, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I don't know how people can do if they do it with a uh, hand one or not. But just basically screw that into there with mine. I just use a drill. All I'm going to do is just take the face off, make sure that it's um, nice and clean in there. This thing here, yeah, it's a uh, uh, yeah. These heads here, the um, tungsten tip, so um, they really hack in or hook into the uh, the brass. 
Right, right, so I'm not sure if this is a zoom in on this or not. See so, yeah, well, um I've just given a bit of face out shiny on the bottom here and it's dark up the top. You just want to make it all nice and shiny. So I'll just give that a bit of a nip up. I know you can't see much when I'm doing like this, but I'll show you this. Goes. And still a bit more up there. Now I know, nah, just tip, I've got your one inside actually. The this one's getting pretty blunt. Done quite a few taps. Plus I hit it once with the, <laughs> with the stainless steel seat and uh, pretty much blunts them up. But see that there? That's how you're nice and shiny and smooth that whole uh, seat is now. You can see at the back there, this is one of the things that you gotta do. It's gonna get all that filings out. See all the filings in the back there? I just use an old sauce bottle and uh, give it a squash out like that, squirt out. You can do it this way. Depends on where you are, what you're doing, and stuff like that. When you've got uh, shower restrictors and things like that, you want to try and get as much of this out because otherwise those brass fillings, filings, fillings, filings will, um, what will happen there is when you turn the tap on, it'll run through the breech and come out here and this hasn't got an outlet. Um, and it'll get stuck into there. So basically that's it. Put your uh, spindle back in. Let's take you back out so you don't need to be up that tight. Uh, stick the spindle back in. Give it a nip up. Shove your flange on and your um, spring, if you've got it, on your wall assembly. Depends what sort of tap wear you have. Every tap wear is different. And uh, get your nut, try and get the nutty nut on properly. Screw him up. And tighten up the nut. Now, what you want to do is just screw your, your um, threading, or screw your tapping all the way into almost, just until you feel your washer take up on the slack of the seat. Because you don't want to do it in tight now, because when we go turn the water on, what we'll do is it'll flush out all the stuff behind the seat, all those fast filings and everything. If we turn it off tight now, you've run the risk of uh, putting some of that filings and getting it stuck in the uh, behind the washer and then you basically pull it all apart and uh, do that again so I'm going to go and turn the water on I'll be back in a minute all right water's on all I do is just open up the uh, tap washer flat out or to open up the valve spindle and shove off do that a couple of times just to get all the brass filings out from behind the behind the seat once you got that, because this is um, so you can see those brass filings just there on the end of my finger. Um, yeah, you know, just one of those pieces like that gets stuck behind behind the uh, tap washer, and it'll just keep leaking. You won't uh, stop it. Yeah, guys. Hopefully that is how I reseat and service tapware and um, that works for everything, doesn't matter what sort of, uh, whether it's basin, shower, bath, laundry, taps, even washing machine taps. Uh, yeah, that's as simple as that. Right up. I'll see you on the next one.